Yo, what is going on, guys? It is Terenza here, and today with the double upload, by the way. Um, <laughs> this is some pre recorded gameplay of me and my friend basically just playing some games. He hasn't played the game in a while, so it was kind of fun. Um, none of them are live commentary, so one of them is going to be post game, no, two of them actually, and the other one's just going to have no commentary at all. I'm basically just going to be showcasing Red Perfect Cell, the Transforming one, the latest one that's came out. I know I'm pretty late to this, but you know, stuff happens. Anywho, I hope you guys enjoy and see you in the next one. Alright, so my friend's using God Key here and I will be using Regen. So I decided to use the lineup Cell, 21 and Piccolo. Alright, cool. Let's get right into it, I suppose. So, he does start off with Vegeta Blue. So I do back up a bit and use the green card to see what he's doing. So, I use the blue because I know he's going for something. And I do catch him. Um, we do okay damage, I guess. It's not great. Alright, cool. So he gets the perfect vanish on me, um, which is something that occurs very often in these fights. So, Soul takes about 40% in one hit, so I switch him out instantly. And as you can see, Vegeta Blue doesn't care about cover cut. He ignores it, especially when they're defensive type. So, Piccolo almost dies, because, you know, that's fair. <laughs> it's so dumb. Alright, cool. So, I'm pretty scared here, because I make one mistake, I can lose Piccolo. So I'm like, okay, cool, we're just getting them out of here. <laughs> I do catch him in the sidestep with the main. Do some decent damage, honestly, because he isn't transformed yet. And then he switches in Vegeta Blue. I should have expected that, I should have dropped combo. But that's fine, because I can get my vanish back. Uh, I use the transformation to see if he's doing anything. I hear the dodge, so I go straight for the strike. Overall, good start, I guess. Could be better, though. Like, I, I could have, like, HP for Piccolo, maybe. That'll be better. <laughs> Piccolo's like my only counter for that purple Vegeta he has. So, I use the main to get my vanish back. I pop the green to see if he does anything and he's going for a tap, so there's nothing I can do about that. So I go up a bit to see if I can go for the blue, but I catch him with the strike, which is even better. So he switches into Rose, obviously. So I switch into... No, I don't switch, actually, because I wanted to buy some time. I wanted to see if I could do a bit more damage with Piccolo. So I went for the blue mid-screen, which is pretty dumb. I don't know why I did that, but yeah, <laughs> I guess that's why post-game post -game commentary because it's hard to just watch your mistakes and stuff. So changes into purple Vegeta makes sense. Continue the combo. Um, purple Vegeta is just a menace to regen as well as green units. They just they just destroy them. Um, the fact that you can't heal anything for like 40 seconds is really detriment to a regen team. So yeah, he's doing a lot of damage as well. Um, I might have to do a showcase, showcase for this guy again. He's actually really good. I don't think he's fallen off that much. Or at least not as much as people said he is. And with the Vegeta family being such a strong team now, I don't know. I actually might do that. We'll see. So we catch him here. He went for taps again. I do drop combo expecting Rose and it works. We'll go for the blue here. I actually did expect this to kill, but it actually does not. Close though, I guess. Um, not transform so it's okay, but he's not great. Um, you definitely want him to die, but you honestly want him to die at a strategical time. You don't just want to sack him off. Um, you want him to die once he's done everything he can in his base. But if you have to sack him off, you should. That's basically what kind of unit he is. He's a lot more um, skillful. You have to like think about what you have to want to do. What you, okay, English. You have to think about what you want to do with him. You don't just throw him under the bus all the time. So yeah, I actually threw on Android 21 under the bus because I don't need her. <laughs> I want to end the combo as quickly as possible and try and finish it with Piccolo. So as you can see, he had to switch to get a vanish back and I switched into Piccolo and went up to him instantly. He couldn't react, so I get rid of the Vegeta with my full combo. Overall, we're in a really good spot now. He still has his main ability, which will heal him, but I think Piccolo can probably go through, is what I thought. So I popped the main, I held on to the green card actually, I wanted to save it for self. So I do get rid of his vanish and sack off Piccolo. I go for the green instantly, knowing there's literally nothing he can do. And he goes for the main, and that really benefits me. So he lost his um, ultimate, but I forgot he was a mute, so I panicked. and just backed up and ran away. So, I caught him slipping, got rid of his vanish, and then I went straight for the blue. And it kills. So yeah, pretty impressive showcase for self. Alright, let's move on to the next match here. Okay, so now we are using the future team up against Fusion Warriors. Alright. So, 
This guy is using a odd fusion team, which is using Omega and Zamasu, as well as Vegeta Blue. It can work, but it's not the most optimal team. Um, so we do catch him here. Obviously, we want to showcase Cell, not Blue Trunks. Um, I don't have the purple Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, so I had to use the Senkai Trunks as the buffer for Cell. Obviously, he's not a he's, he's a decent replacement, I guess. Um, I don't think blue, red, purple is optimal. Let me think about it. Um, blue helps yellow, and that's about it. Yeah, so it's not the most optimal kind of um, pick here, but eh, I guess you have to make do in it, right? So we transform trunks as soon as possible so we can get his damage cut. He goes for the green for some reason, so I just go for a tackle and then there's nothing you can do. I go for instantly for the strike, probably not the smartest thing. I probably should have waited, but yeah. So he gets paralyzed on me, so I'm like, crap, I need to get this guy out. Um, I tried to catch him with a side step, but I missed. I tried to go for the main to see what he would do, but it was too late. He goes for the rush. I'm like, okay, well, I can sack off Cell then. <laughs> so this is the perfect example of when you sack off Cell. You don't just throw him under the bus all the time, because I think that he has some use in this pre-transformed state. But, you know, that's just me and you. Also, it depends on the situation that your team's in. So, obviously, it depends on the player as well as the scenario. Anywho, we transform self. Alright. So he pops the main, he's probably going to go for it, so I get the perfect on him. So I'm like, okay. Some decent damage on this thing against um, Vegeta Blue. So I'm like, okay, I can go for the blue or I can switch to race tracks. And I decide to rush. <laughs> None of those options, right? <laughs> Alright, cool. So he doesn't switch out, which I guess kind of makes sense, because if he guesses it, Someone's gonna die on my team. And he, what do you think he does? He guesses it. Come on, man. You guys know me by now. I never win. So he goes instantly for the blue, which caught me off surprise. I thought he would have went for more than that. So I, I switched because you know, I was scared. So yeah, I'm like, okay, cool. Zamasu or Omega's dead. If he switches into Omega, I'll just switch into Blue Trunk to kill him. So we're looking at a good spot here. Uh, Ray Shunks and Cell are good together because Ray Shunks can take hits and he buffs Cell at the same time. Really good pair. Pretty unexpected to be honest. So we kill him because Trunks is dumb. <laughs> uh, he pops the main to see what I'm doing. I'm not doing anything there. I'm pretty sure I just switched to Cell. Yeah. So I tried to catch him with the green and I actually do hit him. So I know he's a mobilizer. So I go for the blue card. I mean the main into you know blast. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that honestly, he could have brought in Vegeta Blue, but I guess I was too quick. I go strip to for the blue and I actually do catch him and we get the double. Alright, not too shabby so, not too shabby at all. So honestly, he's really impressive. I have no quarries against him. He's um, a lot better than I thought he would be. Obviously, if you look at his stats and you look at his uniques, he didn't like hit me as like a overpowered character or anything like that. He just seemed, eh, he's, he's alright, you know? Anywho, um, wait, what am I doing here? I'm pretty sure I just did a couple of summons or something. Because this is pre recorded, if you couldn't tell, just because you can tell by looking at the events and stuff like that. So, yeah. Not gonna lie, I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. I'm not even sure if I should just skip this or not. Huh. You know, let's actually see what I'm doing, you know? I'm actually curious myself. <laughs> okay, well, I'm doing less fight for some reason, so let's just get that out of the way. <laughs> I'm not even using soul anymore, I don't... Alright, cool. Well, I mean, I needed to get his friendship level up. I remember doing that because um, he teaches a move to Shadow. So I was like, alright, let me get the friendship level too. But I have a zero idea why I'm doing that now and why I haven't stopped recording yet. Maybe I must have forgotten. I don't know. <laughs> let's find out. Alright, cool. Oh, we just won him. Okay, well, that was uneventful. Um, I did pull this Goku when I was doing my summons. If you haven't watched that summon video, you should definitely check it out. It was a lot of fun. Pulled some good stuff. Anywho, as you can see, I got into friendship level 2, and hey, I've done my daily missions. <laughs> Bro, I have no idea what I'm still recording, but whatever, this is funny. Alright, cool, let's just keep watching, I guess. I actually don't remember what I've done here. So... Um, as you can see, my crystals are dead during this time period. I did grind up a lot more from story mode and stuff like that, as well as Ultra Space Time Rush getting revamped. So yeah. Oh, okay, I got a free ticket. Okay. Some decent stuff from the tomato adventure thing. Alright. 
co-op, yeah, I've been doing some co-op, obviously the free crystal, credit crystals you get from co-op is worth it, even though I already have a Zenkai 7 Kid Goku. Um, Golden Showcase, yep, some decent rewards here. Oh, I, apparently I have too many skip tickets, okay, well I've always had too many skip, I've had too many skip tickets for months now, I should have 14 starred Nappa honestly, I was really going to, but I was like, I couldn't be asked to just keep skipping. Oh, okay, so I traded in the medals for some crystals, yeah, makes sense. Alright, what else did I do? Oh, I just go for summons now. All right, then, all right, what am I summoning them then? <laughs> oh, oh, okay, here we are. Okay, I remember this now. Okay, so I got 700 crystals and I get two guaranteed sparking tickets, which should give me enough for the GSP, I believe. Oh, let's just see. I don't think, actually, I think I need one more. Five pods, okay. All right. All right, couple of hits in, not too shabby. Instant transmission, ladies and gentlemen. It's the fastest way to travel around. All right, so we're getting the sparking. I don't know who it's going to be, but it might be someone good. Let's see. And the sparking is Red Bardock. Okay. All right. Any more sparkings? And another sparking is Red Bardock. <laughs> yeah, I, I got Red Bardock to seven stars off this movie. It was, it was insane. I was so happy because Red Bottom is one of my favourite characters in this game. It just sucks that he's not Mera at the moment because, you know, time transformation, you know, um, being red isn't the strongest at the moment. With no, I wouldn't say there's many powerful yellows running around. Um, Dejus has really been hesitant to release yellow units recently. I have no idea why. But yeah. So as you can see, 32% to strike attack for Saiyans is disgusting. And he gives himself another 15% because he's Team Bardock. So yeah. 47%. Be gone! Be gone! 
Take this! <laughs> 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 